Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we've got an enormous, giant, massive art supply haul. Okay, as you may know, if you've listened to any of my other videos, this is my birthday month as well as the holidays. So I do use my birthday money and any gift cards or anything like that for art supplies. So I've utilized those funds and I've gotten a bunch of stuff from Michael's, a really cool little independent um, Japanese lifestyle store and Amazon and Blick. So let's start with Michael's. This is just a cheap little brush cleaner that I got um, because I've been using acrylics and acryl gouache a lot more lately and unlike watercolor they've been really messing up my brushes and I'm loving my brushes so I wanted to make sure to take care of them. So here's what it looks like. It's probably for the stand for the um, brushes to dry upside down. Yep and this is the little cup that you put at the bottom. Water would go in here. Pretty sure this goes in here. Yep. And your brushes can go upside down. Nope. <laughs> your brushes go upside down in here so they can dry with the bristles down. And you can fill this with water and then just wipe your brushes on the bottom to clean them off and you're good to go. So I'm really excited to finally have one of these. The next thing I got from Michaels were some more Posca pens. So I've got these three and that's my whole Posca pen collection right now. And I really love them so I wanted to get a few more. They're very expensive so I just wanted to buy them one at a time, not in a big set, just make my own set so I knew they'd be colors I would really enjoy. So I got these two browns. They're two different color browns, a light and a dark. I hope you can see that. And the, the trick to opening these is apparently you twist them and that breaks the plastic. See? And then you've got your color. So that's a really pretty brown and I do a lot of fur so I thought that would be appropriate. And there's the darker brown. So hopefully with the plastic off that'll be easier to see the difference. Dark and a light and then I got this really pretty sort of maroon color. It's called red wine. I'll surely speed up the unpackaging. <laughs> but that's a really pretty red. Then I got just a basic gray. Very pretty gray. A, an olive green, one of my favorite colors. They called it khaki, but it looks like olive green to me. And finally, this really pretty sky blue. got this beautiful Posca pen collection and that's probably where I'll kind of live. I'll kind of hang out with these for a long time before I decide if I want any more but I like a limited color palette with a material like this. There was this really cute little store called the Japanese Lifestyle Store or Japanese Experience or something. I don't read Japanese or anything like that but it was just the cutest store ever and I had to go in. So this is what I got there. First of all... <laughs> How cute are these stickies? Look at these owls. They were just so up my alley. Like they're so cute. Just really cute little owls. They're like those sticky notes that you can put in your book or in your notebook or in your bullet journal if you're a bullet journaler like I am. And they also had a corgi one and it took everything I had not to get the corgi one too. But I wanted to just say, okay, you can use this up. The store isn't going anywhere. It's still going to exist. So that's the first thing I got. And this is the other thing that I got. It is actually a plate, just like for food, but I thought it would be perfect for mixing. That was my dog doing his attention getting sneezed. Pardon, pardon him, excuse you, bless you, bless you. 
Um, so <laughs> I just thought this would be perfect for mixing colors and I'm really excited to use this in my studio. Okay, next I got this package and I did accidentally rip it open. I didn't look inside, I just ripped it. <laughs> um, I believe this is from Blick. And I got through with that last unboxing that we did together and realized that I really did want a brown. I got this in the last unboxing and these are the colors. And I have these beautiful neutrals here, but I just didn't have a dark brown. And even though I love to mix a dark brown with one of these um, olive green and elm green, colors with one of the reds makes a gorgeous range of browns. I still wanted a convenience brown because I'm really loving the convenience of these neutrals and I just wanted one more neutral. So I'm actually going to replace the white because that doesn't work as well. White dries up more quickly than the other colors. And so I'm just going to have a tube of white with me, this palette, and that's all I'm going to use. Every other color in here has been doing beautifully in the Stay Wet palette that I got with the last unboxing. I'll link that obviously for you. But I really wanted a brown, so... I went ahead and got one. Let's see, oh, I don't remember getting two colors. Guys, seriously, I don't even remember getting another color. I only remember getting brown. That's so funny, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, there's the burnt sienna, and there's a burnt umber. So I'm actually gonna have an issue because I don't know which of these I'm gonna wanna put in that palette. <laughs> so maybe I'm gonna have to go ahead and put the burnt umber in and carry a little burnt sienna and a little white. Not the worst thing in the world, but like seriously, one of the comments on my last one was you're gonna want the 24 size. You're not gonna stop with the 16. How right, how right you are. And then the other thing, while I was at it, as you know, while you're at it, you often keep going. <laughs> That's exactly what happened here. So while I was at it, I went ahead and got some more beautiful brushes. I've been loving working with brushes i know that sounds weird because like kind of right like oh, of course you use brushes no not of course i've been really weird with not trying different styles of brushes and really taking advantage of what they can do and i'm just obsessed lately how a brush like a little brush like this can make your life so easy and they're just fun so this is a really cool one this is the velvet touch i got a couple of velvet touch recently by princeton and i just love how they feel, they're super wonderful to use. Not just the barrel does feel wonderful, but the actual brushes work beautifully. So this is a 20 over, I honestly don't even know how to say this, a 20 over O <laughs> fan. It's just a teeny tiny little baby fan brush, so cute. Let's just get all these out of this plastic and see what we got. So this is another Princeton Velvet Touch, although it is a very different style of, like look how different that is. One is see-through and one is solid. This is more what I'm used to. This is a new one for me. But it's just this giant three-quarter inch wash brush. I'm loving these square brushes for texture. I just like to put in grasses, fur, all kinds of stuff with I'm loving square brushes, so I've been going to town. I got this little liner. It's called a script liner. That's what it looks like. Just beautiful for details. And again, the Velvet Touch because I'm just loving that that brand has won me over. That and my Silver Black Velvet are the best ones so far that I've had. Another liner. One is a 2 and one is a 10 over O. Again, I'm not experienced enough to know where that comes from or what it's even referencing. I just know that when it's over O, it's the smallest. And then from zero up, it goes bigger and bigger. So those are the two detail brushes I got. Really excited to use those. And then finally, if you've been watching my videos, my paint alongs lately. Ooh, I'm nervous about this. How does this come off? I don't wanna just pull this, do I? Do you just pull it like the other ones? Ah, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that was nerve wracking. Okay. And there's still a little bit more, so I'll deal with that in a minute. But I've been loving dagger brushes. I've been calling them blades like sometimes when i'm painting i'll call it a blade brush so pardon me but it's actually called a dagger brush these are so much fun i can't believe i've been going so long without one and now i just can't even imagine life without it so i've got a couple of different sizes now and this is a six and a half princeton and i've never heard of umbria but this this um 
brush just looked so beautiful. The bristle side just looked gorgeous, and I've been having a great time with the other, the Princeton Velvet Touch. This does feel very similar to the, the Velvet Touch. It's, it actually feels a lot like the Elite, Princeton Elite, if you've ever used that. So those are my new brushes. It's like a little different. This is a Redbubble order. I actually have a shop on Redbubble, but before I start advertising it, I wanted to make sure that it was good quality because I've heard such mixed things. So I ordered a couple of stickers of my artwork. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that came out great. Okay, cool. Wow, that is really good. That's, I think, the glossy one. Yeah, must be. So cute. Then that must be the mat. Oh my gosh. That is literally like right out of my sketchbook. Okay, I love it. Okay, all right, cool. Yes, I can. That one I must, it is very sketchbooky. You can see my sketchbook texture. Whereas this one, wow. Like I'm really excited about that one. Okay, cool. So I'm definitely comfortable recommending these. That's shocking. I've heard that when you order a thing, like something that can break, <laughs> It's not the best, but I guess with stickers, this is good quality. I'm actually really proud of this. These were like a dollar eighty or something each, and they're pretty big. So, ooh, I'm very excited about that. Cool. On to the next. Okay, this boy is from Amazon, and what happened was after my last my Himmy gouache review, one of you beautiful subscribers, and I do so appreciate if you subscribe. A lot of my viewers are unsubscribed. It's something like 90% of my viewers currently are not subscribing. It would be so great if you would, but one of my subscribed watchers suggested after that Hemi gouache video that I get this beautiful gouache set. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do a whole other video on this. I bet it'll be the next video that I do. That is gorgeous. Hold on, let me get a scissor. Okay, let me get rid of this bag. That was all that was in this one. Huge envelope for this. So let's open this up. Wow, is this pretty? I have to focus. I have to focus. Okay. <laughs> you guys like that? I really don't want to cut myself. And I can't really do two things at once. Okay. Ooh, so pretty. This has such a nice feeling. So these are called the Sui or Sui. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a South Korean artist. Um, I don't know if that's the artist's name, but there's a, an artist, graphic designer in South Korea who kept mixing the same set of beautiful pastel colors and decided to make their own set of wash pre-mixed. So let's see. Wow, this is beautiful. Ooh. Okay, so there is this card. Oh, oh my gosh, how cute is this? It says color recipe. And it shows you different mixes, different gorgeous color mixes that you can make by mixing the colors that this comes with. Wow, ooh, this is so pretty. I hope they really look like this because these are gorgeous. I can't wait to swatch these. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And then this says for, I actually can't read that at all. Let me know if you guys can read that. For something, the something? Wow. <laughs> and these are the colors that it comes with. Ooh, it's so pretty. So cool. And here are the tubes. I'm really excited. These are so aesthetic, like, whoa. Aesthetic gouache, anyone? This is, woo, pretty. I'm loving that I'm getting into gouache and you guys are making these suggestions of things to try. Oh, no, 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 we're gonna do it this way. Because I really appreciate that. I'm really excited to try these. They look like such pretty colors. And I really like colors like this for my backgrounds, for big, flat backgrounds. That's something I do a lot. So thank you so much for this suggestion. You know who you are. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> now we're on to the big boy. Oh, like, oh, okay. Wow, this box is big. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it up where you can see, and then I'm gonna move it away so that you can actually have any kind of a visual of my desk whatsoever. 
Okay, pray for me. Seriously, this is like, okay, well, can you not? Okay, let's open her, open her up. See what we got. The big old flick box. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's exciting. You can't even see everything that's happening in here. All right, let me move this to the side and we'll take one of these things out at a time. Okay, first things first, the manageable items. <laughs> this is a big Blick matte acrylic in white. Last time I showed you all this. This is my little guy. I got the big one because I have really been loving this texture and I decided if I was going to get into this as a substitute for like the golden so flat or you know, the Liquitex matte acrylics. There are a lot of expensive matte acrylics and I, if this was gonna work, it's so stinking affordable that I wanted to like deep dive if I liked this. And I do, I like the formulation. So I got a big white, cause you go through white super quickly. And then they sent me these soak in. <laughs> Please don't come for me in the comments about how many brushes I got. I am obsessed with brushes right now. That's what's happening. I don't know what to tell you. It's real. The obsession is real. I'm just gonna leave that there so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is another velvet touch. While I was there getting these paints, because that's what a lot of this is gonna be, is more of these paints, so strap in. Um, I got another flat shader. This one's a size six, the Princeton Velvet Touch. Again, for I love to dab it. I just love to jab these at the page. This is great for flat washes too, but I also just like for texture to just jab these at the page. They're just delicious. And then I got another Karen Dash. This one is the Anthraquinoid Pink. Oh, tell me if that's how you say it, but these are very expensive, so I definitely get these one at a time. And Natasha Newton, yet again, strikes again. Natasha Newton <laughs> Art Supply Hauls made me buy it. Okay, how cute is this? This is the first box out of the big box. Is that great? I've never seen that before where it just says set. It's a whole set. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I see a whole set. Tell me if I'm alone. I know I'm not. I know I can't be alone in feeling that way when you get a whole set because it's so rare like this, just getting a set of something. Tell me you don't go, Woo. oh, please don't let me hurt my brushes. Maybe I should move them away. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, let's see. <gasps> Ooh, okay. This is interesting. These are loose as a goose. So this is, as you can probably tell, the same size as the original white one that I got. So this is the large, this is the two ounce. And I got this set of pastel colors. So yellow light, blue light, yellow orange light. This one is so pretty, whoa. Green blue light, that is so pretty just compared to my, so you can see compared to a similar Posca. This one's obviously much darker than the light. These are so pretty. <laughs> Amethyst, ooh. This is like a beautiful, almost like a potter's pink. If you're familiar with that, this is fun. Yellow green light, that's gonna be really cool mixed with even more white. Oh, that's gonna be fun. And then this pretty pink red light but come on that's baby pink that's beautiful Ooh, i'm so excited those are so pretty strap in because there's another set coming okay here we go set so exciting <laughs> this is awesome i've never ordered anything like this from blick like just a big old set usually it's more like how these brushes were or how these pencils are where i just get them one at a time and collect them up just like yeah actually just like with these the Posca pens from today so to get something that just says set on it is a set and I got a few of them for this birthday giant birthday holiday haul Ooh, exciting get ready so pretty so this much like the pastel set I got the neutrals set so let me just give you the close-up of just the basic colors I feel like this, <laughs> bless you. I feel like this is not going to give anything remotely like how beautiful they are in person. These are stunning. So this is like a warm white. It's called off-white. Here's the white white. 
That might help. Wow, this dog. Okay, hold on. Let me give my dog some attention. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Celadon. This next to the off-white. The off-white looks creamier, and the celadon looks like it has a little green to it, like a very mild, like a pewter green. Wow, that's beautiful. White, so I will now, <laughs> I will now have a grand total of three whites, but I have to tell you, any of you who use paint in general, you know, you use your white. That's the number one thing you're gonna use. Sage blue, that is gorgeous. Whoa. Sage blue, that is so pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Silver metallic, okay. I hope you hear the surprise in my voice. Did not realize I was going to have any metallic anything. So that is super cool, whoa. Looks like I might have a couple. Brown, just classic. Again, this is the neutral set. And this one looks a little metallic. Yeah, gold metallic, but it looks like a really cool autumnal orangey gold. Let's see. I'm going to have to do... Oh, I'm going to have to... Ah! Oh no, look at that! I'll be back. <laughs> Emergency help. Okay, I performed some paint surgery, but it absolutely does look like a beautiful orangey gold metallic. It's more like burnt orange than it is your typical gold color. It is so pretty, wow. So that is the neutrals set. And we have one more set. Last set, so excited. <laughs> Let's see what we got. I mean, I know what it is because this is the last thing. So because it's the last thing, I know it can only be one thing. And that's one more set of these paints. And oh my gosh, the first thing I see, <laughs> The first thing I see is a white. So that's a grand total of four whites. Still not mad. Still not mad at it. These are the primaries. So I have the pastels, the neutrals, and the primaries. That's sort of a great example for you to see the difference. So the primaries has, the primary set has Green Deep, Yellow Medium, Orange Medium, Blue Medium, Violet Deep, which is just a really classic crayon purple, and a Red Deep. So we'll be able to mix, I mean, there's like a no limit to the mixing that can happen with all of these sets, so I'm gonna just Combine all these babies into one box so you can appreciate the amount of beautiful matte acrylic paint that I am now the proud owner of. Holy smokes, people. So my plan is to get those little white dots that you see people put on the top of their caps and I'll paint the caps, the little white dots with the colors so that I can look down and see. I'm not gonna keep it in this box, but I'm gonna find some really pretty little container to hold them. But I, oh, I'm so excited. I just love this color selection. I think it's all gonna be super pretty to make some matte acrylic art with. And I just like the idea of having an alternative to my Turner Acryl Gouache because that's really what I've been using and they're, some of them go bad. Some of them get a little separated. They get just a little wonky. And they're also getting more expensive. They're getting harder to find. And I just wanted an alternative for acrylic matte paint that is a nice permanent thing, you know, permanent paint, unlike your regular gouache um, to play with so that I have my traditional gouache, you know, this two from last time and these two from this time. Oh my gosh, guys, look how much awesome stuff I got. I'm so excited. I've got all these gorgeous, beautiful, cool, just wonderful to feel and enjoy <laughs> paintbrushes. This beautiful palette I can't wait to use. These adorable owls. 
my very own stickers of my own art that I'm just so proud and excited. Like seriously, that is so exciting. Let's see, where are we gonna put this? This can go here. And my brush cleaner. Just a really nice ginormous, <laughs> it's a really nice giant beautiful haul. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please comment, like the video, and I would of course invite you to subscribe if you want some more content. And until next time, hopefully I'll be able to use this stuff to create something cute.